Yeah, I'm Brett Jacobs, I live at Gloucester. I've uh, lived here for 25 years. I started a protest because I'm worried about the impacts of the poisons they're going to pump into the ground and more so what they're going to bring up and um, the health effects of the kids and the water and the land. For years this has been going on, we've been looking at the, the politicians, the, you know, all the people who should be protecting us and our land um, and we've got to a point where they just keep stalling us. They've always got a reason why it's okay. It doesn't matter what AGL does or what lies AGL tells. I oh, know that's okay, that's okay. So anytime they don't comply. So we've got to the point where the politicians just aren't going to look after us in this valley. My name is Sharon Munro. Uh, I've recently moved from the Upper Hunter Valley with all of its issues with coal, obviously. It is unthinkable to be turning a scenic, purely watered, beautiful place like Gloucester into an industrial zone. This is the last place on earth that ought to be being fracked. Yes, yeah, so I locked on a couple of weeks ago now um, onto the main gate to try and stop the workers getting in. In all of my life, I haven't had a spurting fine, I haven't done anything. But I'm at the point where the law is failing us, our politicians are failing us, AGL doesn't care, they're in for profit. I suppose that's understandable to some people but it's just not on as far as I'm concerned. We live in Australia and we've got a right to have clean air, clean water and health of our children. I've worked with people who have been affected by asbestosis, all of these things, or DDT, I've seen a couple of them die and this is it all happening again. I thought we got over that where we had to prove, we prove it was safe first and they can't prove it's safe. It's up to us to prove it's unsafe and it's not the way the law should work. These laws that make, make it legal for what AGL is doing in this valley without adequate research right now, I mean, under the bare approval of adaptive management, which means suck it and see, with the aquifers, I think that is criminally negligent. We've got the political process bringing our paid police here to, do, to protect AGL, who are the criminals. We need people here, it's the only way it's going to work. I'm married with seven children. My wife's also inv involved actively in what we're doing. We're at the point, if this goes ahead, we won't live here. We're not prepared to put our children under risk. It's about just saving where we live. We need your help. Please be a reinforcement to help. And I promise you, when it's your valley, I'll come to yours.